Alright, today we have a pretty ambitious project ahead of us. We're going to work on the electrical system on our boat. And we're going to start off by replacing two marine duty batteries. One installed on each side of the boat. And then in order to increase the life of our battery, we have this uh, onboard marine charger that we're going to install too. Now I've tried to plan out where this is going to be located. I had a couple of options on this side of the boat in the storage area, on this side of the boat in the storage area, or actually down in the bilge. The bilge, by definition, is sometimes a wet place, so I've decided, uh, although that would be the best place to put it for uh, the wires so that they could reach each battery, I'm going to go ahead and install it on this side, which is relatively empty. There's some room on one of the walls, but it does mean that I'm going to have to lengthen the leads as per the instructions in the owner manual. There's a way to do it with the right size wires, and we're going to go ahead and do that too, and then put in our batteries, install our charging unit, and hopefully that will be good to go as far as the uh, electrical system on the boat. All right, here is the connectors that I'm going to have to extend. The manufacturer's owner's manual says it can be extended up to 15 feet and that a cut has to occur here between the, uh, the Y part and the fuses. So we're going to make a snip here, bare these wires, and then we're going to incorporate some 12 gauge wires to space the uh, distance in between. According to the manufacturer, it needs to be at least 12 gauge, which looks considerably larger than what it came with, but we're gonna follow their instructions. All right, here's what they look like after they've been cut and stripped. I'm gonna go ahead and tin them with some solder and then make my connections with the soldering gun so that I know that I have a good electrical connection and then I will use some liquid electrical tape to waterproof the connection. Alright, here's a look at our connections after the soldering. Not the prettiest thing the instructions were to use shrink wrap but we're going to go ahead and apply our liquid electrical tape now. Our first coat of liquid electrical tape, we're going to let that tack up a little bit and really kind of apply it thick for a second coat and then let that dry up and possibly do a third coat. I want to make sure I don't have any metal showing to make sure that there's not a short and also to uh, make sure I don't get any salt water corrosion from the salt air that these uh, connections are going to be exposed to. All right, here's what our connection looks like. After about three coatings, we're gonna let this tack up pretty well since we're gonna be moving the unit around when we install it. I don't wanna mess up the connections or the coating. So I'm gonna give it a couple minutes to dry and then we'll go ahead and put the charger mounted against the wall in there. And then last thing, we'll swap out the batteries, hook them up to the charger and check our electrical connections, make sure everything's working. All right, while we're waiting for those connections to dry, I went ahead and swapped the battery. This is what it looks like on this side. I haven't tightened down the wires yet because I still have the automatic charger connections to make. And then on the other side, it looks a little different. So I strapped down. I haven't tightened those either because we're still going to install the charger. It's going to go up on this wall right here and then it's going to connect to this battery and then run a set of leads all the way across to the other side to the other battery to allow that one to charge too. Alright, now we're soldering back on the two connectors on this side. I'm going to electrical tape them and then coat them with the liquid electrical tape so I don't have to wait as long before I connect it. New batteries in here 
and we have the charger already mounted to the wall in there let's go take a look at that all right while those are drying let's step back up and we'll take a look at the charger all right charger's mounted here On the wall, I used some stainless steel screws. I drilled a couple pallet holes first to mount them. It was not quite as easy as what you might imagine. And this is a dummy plug right here where the you can unplug and plug in the cord while it's not in use. On that too, this battery is already hooked up, ready to energize the charger. Just waiting on the other side. All right, it's the next morning. And we see we had the charger lead hooked up all night. The lights on the charger last night were orange, indicating that they were topping off the charge on the batteries. And this morning we see green lights blinking, indicating a full charge. Once the charger goes into maintenance mode, the green lights will be solid and stay on so there we go a complete automatic self-charging boat battery system installed if you have any questions leave comments below underneath the video otherwise as usual thanks for watching and hope you find this video useful